Sobel House, Liz Beacon, how can I help you? Sir Michael Sobel House, locally known as Sobel House, was originally funded by a donation made by Sir Michael Sobel in 1972. Dr Alistair Lang, radiologist, was part of the original planning team. The National Society felt that it could meet the needs because of other desperate requirements, but he offered to donate a sum of money through the National Society to the Oxford region to build a hospice in Oxford. In response to the need to update the original building, Sebel House Hospice Charity successfully raised the funds to build the new hospice with contemporary facilities and light, spacious rooms. This opened in 2003. The hospice itself is at the heart of the many services provided by Sobel House to the community. Sir Michael Sobel House is a specialist palliative care unit. And what that means is that it specialises in the care of those people who are dying and who are very poorly before their death and the care of their families. It looks at their physical needs and their psychological needs. And the staff who work here have considerable experience in the care of patients and also many have extensive and considerable training in this area. The hospice has many departments. It has an inpatient unit with 18 beds where people can come if they need um, help with their symptoms or that they need a period of respite or perhaps some procedures. In addition to this inpatient unit, it also has a day hospice where patients can come for the day. And in addition to those, it has a community team who help manage patients' problems in their own homes. And it has a hospital team which help manage patients' problems in the wards within the hospital, or indeed sometimes in other trusts in the area. And you will hear a little bit more about these people and the departments in which they work as you watch this video. The day centre offers medical and nursing assessment and support. Alongside this, it also offers patients and their families the opportunity to engage in a wide range of creative activities. Psychological support, such as music and art therapy, are also available, as well as a choice of complementary therapies. All of these services are provided free and are delivered by professionally qualified staff. Day Centre provides a, a space for patients to come, to get away from their home environment, to come somewhere different, and to be supported medically, spiritually, socially, in any way we can, to benefit and enhance their quality of life. Some days you go, some days you stop. Patients some really look forward to coming to the day centre. It's a place where everyone can be involved. Doctors came here one day to see what went on in the British hospice. And they came into the door and they had their folders and long faces. We were having a sing song. And it sounded like Friday night in the pub. <laughs> and they stood there and their jaws dropped. And they started to write notes. And they looked from one to the other. And there were the patients singing away merrily. You know. If I was starved, some days my guts growled, it's terribly hard. But, you know, they were expecting it to, to be depressing and miserable. It isn't. Sobel House currently benefits from the support of over 130 volunteers with ages ranging from teenagers to octogenarians. There are many areas in which volunteers can be involved, including providing practical care for patients, helping with psychological support, pastoral care, or as a member of the bereavement support team. People in here are wonderful, honestly. They are really, you would have never thought volunteers would be so marvellous, and the nurses as well. But they're helpful in the respect that they can talk, that they're willing to talk things over with you. Ah, oh, they're marvellous. Yeah, marvellous. Can't do enough for you. The atmosphere that is created between the patients and the volunteers is such a good, um, friendly vibe. These daily things that happen, like um, a cheeky drink that all the patients get given at half eleven in the morning, which is quite nice. It's just such a great place to be. I think quality of the volunteers we have here are wonderful. 
Patients who attend our day centre can either make their own transport arrangements or take advantage of our volunteer transport service to and from their homes. Patients at Sobel House, whether inpatients or day centre visitors, can enjoy the freshly prepared meals which are cooked on the premises every day. Our kitchen staff are able to cater for special dietary requirements and will also help provide treats for special celebrations. These are some of the many services available to those attending Sir Michael Sobel House. Music therapy at the heart of, of the work really is, is our relationship with music and how that can develop into a, a meaningful relationship. So we have uh, some nice simple instruments like the telephones where people can sit and, and play so all of a sudden a musical piece begins to emerge which uh, is the beginning of our relationship. I had no idea how important the music would be. It, um, it, was, it was desperation to begin with that I, I needed to express that stuff. It was like it was trapped inside. So the music became very important. Music therapy for Casper was absolutely huge. It what motivated him sometimes when, even when he was terribly ill, and everything intensified his illness, both physically and mentally. He was still inspired to come to his music therapy, and of course the result being, he was able to express his feelings and emotions um, in his songwriting. fairly small team of people, there's uh, seven of us currently uh, who are providing those, uh, those therapies and at the minute we're able to provide those during the week and we're hoping to develop the service so that we're able to um, work with patients, relatives and carers um, at weekends and in the evenings. Sobel House Hospice benefits greatly from the support of the hospice charity team who attend and organise many events around Oxfordshire making an important contribution to the running costs of the hospice. When the hospice was first built, Sir Michael Sobel stipulated that it had to be supported by the community, even though it was given to the NHS. The community continues to support the hospice through the charity. The charity is so important to the hospice. It provides all the extra services, the therapies, all the extra nice things that happen over and above the NHS provision. If it wasn't for the community giving that money from individuals, companies, groups, the services at Sir Michael Sobel House would not be anywhere near as good as they are. I think, if this isn't the wrong word, the passion that the staff had for their work, it is not something you go into lightly working in a hospice. And I would imagine that the people who end up working there for a while feel quite strongly about what they do. In addition to these events, the charity team work closely with many local businesses who continue to offer their generous and valuable support. In 2009 for our charity for year, we decided we'd try and do three things. Firstly, we'd have a team for the midnight stroll. Secondly, we'd write to all our landlords, of whom we have a few thousand. And thirdly, we'd allow each member of staff to donate a day of their time this autumn, in November and December, to do work for Sabelle House. For example, working in the office, working in the shops, helping out with different events, being a marshal at the November gift fair. The care provided by Sobel House spreads beyond the hospice and into the community. Many patients are cared for and supported by the Sobel Specialist Nursing Team, whose priority is to help maintain patients at home for as long as possible where this is their wish. I'm very passionate about palliative care and giving the best quality care that I can and I regard myself as very fortunate in working with other people that share the passion that I have and, and are all striving for the best that they can do. And my job is to support them in that continued pursuit, really. 
much prefer her to be there because then I know she's being well looked after. We are here for the patients and their families. But I do do a job that I get so much satisfaction out of. I can see you in the window. Watching Teams from all parts of Sobel House work collaboratively to ensure that patients are looked after in the right place and at the right time. Support for families and carers continues after the death of their loved ones. The Sobel House Bereavement Volunteer Service is well established in the local area and offers support at home as well as memorial and celebration events throughout the year. Forget as time goes by. Well, it's a great privilege to be continuing to work with those families because it doesn't finish when somebody dies, that life goes on. And in a sense, it's about supporting people through that, that shocking time, that difficult time, and holding that knowledge and knowing that things will shift and, and will change and that, that life will go on. It will never be the, the same when somebody dies, but there's that sense of people's legacies, um, and, and, and life going on in a way that although their loved ones aren't here anymore but it can still be rich and that it can still blossom because of people in their life. We have some very ambitious plans for the future. Um, the, the first is to set up a triage system so that patients who are referred to us either, either directly by themselves or by other professionals get to the right place at the right time and they get the best possible support and help straight away. Um, the second is that we are fundraising for a rapid response team so that patients who are in crisis at home, either by themselves or with relatives or carers, can get the support they need at the time that they need it, and that may be in the middle of the night. Sebel House has a full education and research programme. Operating at the forefront of palliative and bereavement care, it has a worldwide reputation for innovation and education. This helps us to continue providing the very best possible care. This is evident from the wealth of correspondence and comments that we receive here at St Michael's Sobel House. At Sobel I feel like the focus is on me, which is always a good thing. It's quite nice to be selfish every now and again. But it also, it, it kind of focuses you as well a little bit on actually, this is the way you're going. We'll help you to get there. And if you need any kind of distractions, any kind of help, not a problem, it's all there for you, everyone's got time, everyone's got lots and lots of advice, um, if you need people to talk to you, fine, if you want to have a quiet time, and the number of times I've come here and just said, I'm so exhausted, and Nikki, my nurse, has just said, there's a, there's a bed just up the corner, do you fancy a quick kip? Yes, thank you, and having an hour's sleep, absolutely marvellous, and I wanted to shout from the rooftops about the work that Sobel does because I think a lot of people think hospices oh dear there you go there to die don't you they must be grim places no not at all